Hi, we are going to quickly have a look at how to calculate forward rates based on spot rates. Now, these are spot rates with semi-annual compounding. So you can see we have spot rates up to two and a half years with semi-annual compounding. So in this session, we are just going to quickly go through and see how we can calculate the six month forward rates with uh, or, or, or the forward rates up to two and a half years with semi-annual compounding. So first of all, let's just understand the basic logics that how spot rates and forward rates are related to each other. So here I'm showing you as an example with annual compounding just to keep things simple. So here we have two years. This, this blue line shows two years. So that's year one. That's year two. Now let's say that we want to calculate the one year forward rate. So F1 is the one year forward rate starting in one year's time. So we are here, we are somewhere here. We want to calculate F1, which is the one year forward rate. It's, you can see it starts in one year's time and it, it stretches up to a year, goes up to two years. So that's the one year forward rate starting in a year's time. Now we can calculate F1 given that we know the two year spot rate, which is S2, and the one year spot rate, which is S1. So you can see here, this is the formula. one plus the two year spot rate to the power of two. Now the reason we take the power of two is because remember whenever we talk about rates they always cover a year. So that's the reason so because we have two years here so we need to multiply we need to take the power of two because every year th this rate is with annual compounding so this will compound for two years. So that's the reason we take the power of two. So one plus the two year spot rate to the power of two equals one plus the one year spot rate, which is S1, multiplied by one plus the one year forward rate that starts in one year's time. So based on this formula, if we rearrange this formula to isolate F1, we can easily calculate the one year forward rate that starts in a year's time. So now let's look at how we can slightly tweak this formula if we want to calculate the six month forward rate starting in six months time with semi annual compounding so the main difference between this and this is notice this is annual compounding and this is semi annual compounding now to keep things simple I've just taken a one year deadline remember here we had two year deadline so here we have a one year deadline so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to calculate the six month forward rate starting in six month time with semi annual compounding now if we have the one year spot rate with semi annual compounding which is s1 and we have the six month spot rate with semi annual compounding which is s0.5 if we know these two we can easily calculate the six month forward rate that starts in six months time with semi annual compounding. Now the formula is focus on the formula. So it's one plus the one year spot rate with semi annual compounding. Now the reason we divide S1 by two is remember because we said interest rates are always given for a year normally. So because it's semi-annual compounding you need to divide it by two because it compounds every six months so remember s1 is is the rate applicable for an year with semi-annual compounding so the six month rate we need to divide it by two and then we take the power of two because there's two six month periods in a year and this this rate is applicable for a year so that's the reason we divide it by two now that equals 1 plus S0.5 so let me just so S0.5 is basically the 6 month spot rate you can see that's a 6 month spot rate now the reason we are writing like this 1 plus S0.5 divided by 2 the reason we divided by 2 remember we said interest rates are always given for a year so if it's semi-annual compounding, we need to divide this rate by 2. 
because it's applicable only for six months so that's the reason is s0.5 divided by 2 multiplied by the six month forward rate which is 1 plus f 0.5 not by f 0.5 is the forward rate the six month forward rate again we are dividing it by two because remember we said interest rates are for a year so because this is for a, with a six month compounding semi-annual compounding we divide it by two now based on this formula if in order to calculate f 0.5 we can rearrange this formula and simply calculate the forward rate now just another point to remember you need to when you're attempting a question or trying to calculate forward rates based on spot rates always notice what sort of compounding it is normally it's with continuous compounding which I will show in another video how to do that but in order to understand the concept I'm keeping it with semi-annual compounding so based on this we have have calculated the forward rates already here I've calculated the forward rates for each period with semi-annual compounding so for example this one here so that's 18 months so this forward rate basically what this says is this is the six month forward rate that starts in a year's time because remember this is 18 months so basically this forward rates is the six month forward rate that starts in a year's time now in order for you to calculate this you only need to know what's the 18 month spot rate and what's the one year spot rate so let's see if we have these two spot rates how can we calculate the six month forward rate starts starting in a year's time so let me quickly go to that so here I've just broken it down for you so remember so I have 18 months so I've just put it as s 1.5 so that's one year that's 1.5 years which is 18 months and now s 1.5 we know that s 1.5 is 1.203 percent that means in other words the one and a half, half year spot rate so I'll show that to you here you can see with the one and a half year spot rate is 1.203 percent so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the one and a half year spot rate one plus s 1.5 that's the one and a half year spot rate I am dividing it by two because remember it's with semi-annual compounding that's the reason I'm dividing it by two and then I'm taking the whole thing I'm taking the power of three because you have three six month periods in one and a half years in one and a half years you have three six month periods in one year you have two six month periods and in here you have another six month period so three six month periods so it will compound three times that's the reason we are taking the power of three now that equals we know the one year spot rate which is 0.8 percent I can show you here so the one year spot rate is 0.8 percent with semi-annual compounding so that's what we are doing here 1 plus 0 8 percent again we are dividing it by 2 remember it's semi-annual compounding because of that we need to divide it by 2 and then we take the power of 2 because there are two six month periods in a year's time there's two six month periods in a year's time so that's what we take the power of 2 multiplied by the 1 plus I could have just put a 0.5 but I'm just showing it to you here 1 plus the six month forward starting in one year again you divide by 2 because remember rates are always given for a year but this is only for this is with semi-annual compounding therefore you need to divide it by 2 so this whole number is 1.018 and this whole number is 1.008 and then I'm dividing this by this so that's what I'm showing here you can see that that gives us 1.01 and then I need to deduct 1 and multiply it by deduct 1 so I'm just simply doing that I'm just showing you one by one step at a time so I'm deducting 1 because that 1 has to be deducted that gives me 1.01 and then I need to multiply it by 2 
that's what I'm doing here, which gives me 2.01%, which is the six month forward rate starts in a, in a year's time. So we can check it here 2.01%. And I've got 2.01%. That's the six month forward rate starting in a year's time. So remember, um, it's quite simple once you have spot rates to calculate forward rates. One thing you need to focus is what type of compounding has been applied to the spot rate so that you can apply the same compounding to the forward rate as well. If you have any questions, post it in the comment section or drop us an email. Thank you.